Hi Anna, um, my name's Linda James and I live in Devon. Um, never done this before so it's a bit daunting but um, I've watched your your videos and um, I like what I see and what I hear and I watched the video from the lady in Burnley yesterday evening and it resonates I feel exactly the same way um, since the start of this I thought yeah okay it's a bit um, peculiar what's going on um, the, the mass hysteria and the um, the fear um, but honestly I thought it would um, calm down uh, and instead, what has happened over weeks is this um, systemic um, mantra by the the media um, of keeping people in fear. Um, every time you switch something on, there is nothing being talked about but cases of COVID, people dying, um, what their experiences, what what people's experiences have been, who have had it, nothing positive whatsoever. Um, the the uh, the information that's been given out on television. I stopped watching the the news a long time ago. I'm, I'm talking years and years ago because I don't believe a, a word that comes across. I think it's all manipulated. Um, that's how I feel, that's how I felt for a long, long time. So I do my own research and I try to take a balanced view as I have done with this situation. Um, but it's becoming increasingly more difficult because there is no balance, basically. And now we have uh, the wearing of face coverings in shops and this morning... Um, the government have imposed a 14-day quarantine for people coming over from Spain. So, um, yes, dark and sinister, uh, absolutely. Um, and and like your uh, your your woman from Burnley, I think she was from. Um, I've gone from a feeling okay, you know, I can work with this. <clears throat> excuse me uh i can wait it out like everybody i can take i can try and take a balanced view although i don't believe anything of, of what's going on to now i'm i'm feeling in my solar plexus um this knot of anxiety <clears throat> um that i i feel as if i'm in a spider's web um and I absolutely refuse to wear a mask or a face covering, absolutely. I haven't been to a doctor for over 30 years. Um, I'm supposedly in one of the vulnerable groups because I'm 70. I, I haven't had an illness. I have nothing wrong with me. I am not wearing a face covering. Um, end of story. I've done my own research and... Um, I, I just believe that it's more harmful than not. But I think <clears throat> now, <clears throat> excuse me, I think now it's political. I think Boris Johnson is just looking to make sure that it's it's just all for political gain. And I think the one question that I am constantly asking myself is, in any of these situations, these quick turns, these um, these overnight decisions, who actually stands to gain overall? Who is standing to gain from, from manipulating us in this way? Um, there are many answers to that. But one thing I am absolutely certain of without question is i will not have a vaccine i don't do vaccine i'm not anti-vax you want it you have it i'm not anti-mask you want to wear it you wear it 
but don't impose your restrictions on me because I'm fine. I'm fine. I keep myself ultra healthy. Um, and I'm, I'm okay. You know, in Devon, here in Devon, we have had n hardly anything. I think there was 11 reported cases. There's nothing now, hasn't been for weeks. And we've had an influx since the 4th of July. We've had a massive influx of holiday makers because we're right on the coast and they are streaming in off the M5 and I said this is three three and a half weeks ago and they're still streaming in and there is not one reported case to my knowledge I don't know anybody in my vast circle of friends and acquaintances I don't know one person who's even had symptoms of covid not one not in spain because i lived in spain for a long time i'm in constant contact with people in spain not one person i know um has had any symptoms anything whatsoever now that is a vast number of people that i personally know um so you know i i just what the heck is going on and I am just, uh, I'm now getting more and more worried about the effects of of this long term on, on children, on young people. We're teaching them to live in fear and fear is your first emotion, uh, you know. So what's, what's this going to do to them? Um, I, I'm so frustrated. I've got grandchildren and um, two in Spain. And three here. And, um, you know, what's this teaching them? What are we teaching them? Um, w what messages are we passing on here? Um, you know, and this, this constant mantra of we're all in this together is absolute bull. Because everybody looks out for themselves. Um, yes, there might be small pockets. And yes, the media are constantly showing communities pulling together which is great and fantastic but they're not giving a balanced view whatsoever and and now i i thought uh you know i used to think laura kunzberg was was um you know sort of middle of the road quite balanced now i don't at all as a journalist um i've watched her a couple of times now i've i've heard what she's saying to the camera on bbc and i am absolutely dismayed dismayed because even she talks about the next wave that you know um anyway I, I, I won't go on i could go on um thank you for this opportunity and um you know i i hope we take to the streets quite honestly um anyway thank you anna and you're doing absolutely brilliant brilliant work um thank you so much Bye.